Okay guys, in IELTS listening part 3, we have another common type of questions, we call it matching. Okay, they will give you a box with options A, B, C, D, E, F, G and then there will be the questions and you have to match those questions with the options. Sometimes there are the names of the people, sometimes there are the parts of presentation. In this case, you don't have to read the questions. Because questions do not contain any information which should be looked upon. For example, A, uh, falcon or falcon, land seer, 26, fish hawk, and you don't understand, you don't learn anything. So, leave the questions, come to the options. Personal meanings, A, childhood memory. Now, for childhood memory, they can say, in my childhood, we used to do that. I remember in my childhood, we used to have a anything like that and this is going to be the answer and by the way they will use synonyms they will not use the same words they will actually use synonyms option b hope for the future anticipate something related to future predict something right be a look forward to something in the coming time it's that for future even they can use 2025 or anything like that c fast movement for fast they can use the word quick for movement, they can use the word action or any other word like that, right? Fast movement, quick action and all that. Option D, potential threat. Potential threat means it can be a danger. It is likely to be dangerous. Potential means that has the potential, can be, may be, likely to be and all that. Option E, power of color, very simple, power of color. They'll speak about the color power and all that. Option F continuity of life for that they say life goes on life continues right life continues to exist or anything like that g protection of nature now they will speak about an option which shows protection of nature for example you say uh, there's a boy who is holding the eggs of a bird and who is trying to put them back into the nest so protecting the nature something like that they will not use the same words but they will show the actions those actions actually uh, show protection to the nature next a confused attitude to nature confused attitude to nature we don't understand we don't know we don't know what to do we are in two minds anything like that now question number 25 your left hand left thumb will be on the question the hand that is holding the pencil will move between the options where you find the right answer just immediately you can just come down and write the letter or otherwise you can write question number over there for example for 25 c is the right answer instead of coming down you can write there 25 and later on you can convert that right let's start one part of the project i'm unsure about is where we choose some paintings of birds and say what they mean to us like, I chose a painting of a falcon by Landseer. I like it because the bird's standing there with his head turned to one side, but he seems to be staring straight at you. But I can't just say it's a bit scary, can I? Hmm. You could talk about the possible danger suggested by the bird's look. Oh, okay. Possible danger suggested by the bird's look. Exactly, possible danger and potential threat. All IELTS is all about synonyms. See that, this is how they play, right? Okay, let's go on. So the right answer for 25 is D for doctor, well done. Question number 26, fish hawk. Now let's see what do they say. And by the way, you don't need to read these names. Just focus fish hawk. There's a picture of a fish hawk by Audubon I like. It's swooping over the water with a fish in its talons and with great black wings which take up most of the picture. So you could discuss it in relation to predators and food chains? Well, actually, I think I'll concentrate on the impression of rapid motion it gives. Right. Rapid motion. Thank God you guys understand. Fast movement and rapid motion. Exactly. Well done. Let's go on. So C for cat is the right answer. Because of rapid motion and fast movement. Question number 27. Kingfisher. 
You know that picture of a kingfisher by Van Gogh? It's perching on a reed growing near a stream. Yes, it's got these beautiful blue and red and black shades. Mm -hmm. I've actually chosen it because I saw a real kingfisher once when I was little. I was out walking with my grandfather and I've never forgotten it. Oh, so we can use a personal link? Sure. Okay. When I was little and walking and all that, so it is A, childhood memory. When I was little and all that. Good. See, IELTS will become a piece of cake if you access IELTS like this. Otherwise, you'll always be confused. Question number 28, portrait of William Wells. There's a portrait called William Wells. I can't remember the artist, but it's a middle-aged man who's just shot a bird. And his expression and the way he's holding the bird in his hand suggests he's not sure about what he's done. To me, it's about how ambiguous people are in the way they exploit the ambiguous. natural world. Interesting. He's not sure how ambiguous people are. So it is H, a confused attitude to nature. Right? He's not sure how ambiguous people are and all that. Question number 29. Uh, verumati. Verumati. Something like that. And don't try to read the words which you can't read. They will come in the audio. Just read the first syllable. Verumati. Just read ver. Right? Like that. There's Gogan's picture, Viramati. He did it in Tahiti. It's a woman with a white bird behind her that is eating a lizard. And... What I'm interested in is what idea this bird refers to. Apparently, it's a reference to the never-ending cycle of existence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> never-ending cycle of existence. F, and that is continuity of life. Never-ending cycle of resistance. So once you focus these things, and by the way, in every test, they will have things like that. And then you will be ready for anything like that. Question number 30, portrait of uh, Giovanni de Medici. Let's see. I chose a portrait of a little boy, Giovanni de Medici. He's holding a tiny bird in one fist. I like the way he's holding it carefully so he doesn't hurt it. Oh, right. Protection to nature. Yeah, he's holding so that he doesn't hurt it and all that. That is protection to nature. Is it all clear? Yes. Exactly. Very good. Very good.